Good afternoon. Uh, this is Jason Thomas, Project Engineer at America Makes, and your host for today's America Makes TRX webinar series. Uh, a little background on the TRX webinar series before I introduce our speaker. As America Makes continues its mission to expand and accelerate the footprint of additive manufacturing and 3D printing, this medium called the America Makes Technical Review and Exchange webinar series was created. By creating this platform, it allows the additive manufacturing and 3D printing community to come together and share knowledge and experience with the broader community. If you or your team are interested in presenting during the TRX webinar series, there will be a link to complete the request form at the end of our series today, or you can contact the America Makes TRX webinar series administrator, Jason Thomas, directly. A few important notes before we kick off the series. At the end of the presentation, there will be an opportunity for a brief question and answer session. Uh, if during the presentation you have a question, please submit it in the Q&A space on your WebEx screen, and we will ask it during the Q&A session. We will do our best to get all of the questions answered. Uh, today's webinar is on how BMW and EOS will bring automation to the next level. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Stefan Cure of 3 Your Mind. Stefan is C CEO and co-founder of 3 Your Mind, who provides software solutions for companies around the world to capture the potential for additive manufacturing and industrial 3D printing. After graduating with a diploma in physics and business, he gathered practical experience as an engineer and team leader of service sales department at, at Vesta's Wind Systems. In 2014, Cure founded 3 Your Mind to radically simplify access to 3D printing. He has developed develop streamlined software solutions that fuel efficiency and growth at every stage of the additive manufacturing workflow. The company was awarded the German Innovation Prize in 2016 and entered the Elite Start X Accelerator Network in Silicon Valley in 2017. Cure is an, ex an expert on digital transformation in industry and speaker on this topic at key international conferences. Stefan, I will now turn it over to you and your team. Thanks a lot. Uh, great, uh, great to be here. Can you confirm that you did you hear me well and you see my screen changing? Yes, I can. Looks great. Okay, perfect. So yeah, thanks for for joining today. Um, it's uh, it's cold and late here in Berlin, but um, let's uh, let's look into some hot topics here. So so basically, um, as, as as just um, announced, I would like to to tell you a little bit about a project that we were we are very delighted to be part of. Um, it is a fully automated production line. Uh, it's called Polyline because it's, it it runs a polymer printer and it's hard. Um, that that together with fifteen other companies, we're setting up up at uh, at BMW. Um, and I'd like to to take the opportunity to tell you a little about about that um, about that project, which is a, a, a very very nice glimpse into the into the future of of automated production. Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's have a look at that. Um, so so basically, when when I started this company um, seven years ago, I was I was super intrigued by the um, by the technology that additive manufacturing provides. Um, now this machine wasn't available back then, but I still remember very well how how I saw my first U.S. Uh, Fortress machine, um, and about how, how and, and about how it could make uh, pretty much anything from 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 just powder, um, and that that was super intriguing to me. Um, and 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 I said, okay, we we need to do something in that. We we on the other hand, we saw a lot of manual work that was still involved, though. So so we were we were psyched by by what's possible, but also a little bit uh, astonished by by what um, by what needs to be done. And and we said to ourselves, let's 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 work on this, right? Let's let's try uh, the whole process is smoother and more automated. Um, and by the way, I, I chose this picture um, as not just as a symbol for for my inspiration for starting the company, but also uh, because it, it it is in the heart of the Polyline project. It's a uh, it's a it's a nice machine. The P500 is is made for automation. It's made for for uh, serial production. Um, so it 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 was very easy to connect it to our to our software, and um, and and it's 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 a it's a great machine to have in the heart of this. Uh, Additive um, automated factory. Now, now the the other thing that that is uh, probably even more inspiring than than the, the the hardware that produces parts is the applications that people have found so far. 
Um, there is there is really amazing stuff out there. There are there are great projects. I chose this one because uh, this is a project that uh, BMW is is uh, is officially talking about. It's uh, uh, whenever you buy a mini car, you can uh, you can customize it. You you there's a couple of uh, places inside the car. Uh, this is just next to the next to the um, driver. Um, so 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 there's a couple of things you can customize, and you you have it right in your car. Now uh, there's there is parts that we're going to produce in Polyline. I'm not really able to to talk about uh, these because because they're not public. But 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 what I can say is that that BMW is still producing this uh, this part, and uh, I think it's a it's a great example for for additive. Um, and and yeah, let's uh, let's see this 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 project that I want to tell you a little bit more about. Uh, which basically it, it, it's written in German because it's actually a purely German project, right? There's only German companies uh, working on this, even though most of them have uh, pretty uh, non-German names. Um, uh, but yeah, it's all it's all German uh, uh, companies, and and um, and and basically it, it, the, the the idea is to set the next generation digital factory, right? Completely automated, um, based on 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 polymers. And uh, when when EOS and, and and BMW and others uh, gathered and um, and then asked us to to be the software provider to 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 control the whole uh, uh, the, the whole factory, we were we were very excited and and and, and very honored um, uh, to get this trust and, and and to get this opportunity. And I think it's a it's a, it's a great project that will um, that will um, uh, really move the whole industry forward. Um, and uh, but before going into this, let, uh, let let me maybe tell you why 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 we believe they chose us and why why, why we are really a good a good partner and in, and in, in what we what we actually do, because the, the 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 our mission that we gave ourselves five years ago, um, that uh, is is pretty much in line with this. We said okay, there is this new thing called agile manufacturing because manufacturing is is getting more agile. It's it's getting more. Uh, on demand and so on, and and what it means to us is that we have to standardize, optimize, and and especially automate AM uh, workflows. Uh, AM because AM is is the the best technology to 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 be agile. Um, uh, you 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 know better than than me why why is right. These machines they work they work uh, very individual and and without changing anything you can you can produce one part to another part tomorrow. Um, and 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 this is this this has been our mission, right? And 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 it was only natural that in the Polyline project, where we have a very similar mission, right? We wanna we wanna automate the whole thing. We wanna make sure we get uh, parts at standardized uh, quality um, uh, that 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 our software is the right to to actually control this. Um, let me tell you a little bit about about our company, uh, just so you have an idea of what we actually do. Um, so we are based in Berlin. We we are spin out from the Technical University Berlin. Uh, we have a couple of offices around Europe, but uh, but our our North American market is uh, is uh, ex expanding fast. Um, so so we actually right now have a have a, um, a three three locations um, these days. The team prefers together in Miami. Uh, actually, they're 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 they're, they're there today. I don't, I don't know if that's just because it's easy to fly in or for other reasons, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice to be um, to 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 be local to our customers in North America. Um, then uh, what 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 have we done so far? So there's more than a hundred enterprise customers that utilize our software and that uh, that we could uh, could win over the time. Um, uh, our software handles a lot of data, more than a thousand orders, uh, with with sometimes multiple parts in it are are placed every day through our software. Uh, we we calculate ten thousands of uh, tens of thousands of prices every day. Uh, so so we we have a very good overview about the market and and, and know what's what's happening there. And in total, we we analyzed more than a million parts so far. Actually, way, way more. It just looks nicer if I put it like this. And um, uh, so 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 there's some 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 really big uh, uh, analytics behind behind what we do. But um, what is it what we do? We 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 were as I said thinking okay additive manufacturing has amazing uh, technology behind it right amazing machines uh, big variety of materials uh, already good use cases um, but definitely there can be more. So this is one of the challenges we we set to ourselves that we wanna that we wanna uh, solve or that we wanna help in solving. Um, uh, to 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 generate more use cases. 
secondly, uh, it was intriguing how how you have amazing machines um, that 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 are so capable, and they all have have uh, digital uh, connectors. But but then still, there are people walking around with USB sticks loading the machines. There is. Uh, a lot of bringing parts from A to B. There's a lot of, of I mean, people print out 2D uh, uh, letters and let them travel with the parts. So, so, so we were thinking, okay, this this can be better. This has to be better, right? There's a lot of repeated work that can be automated, and uh, and that's what we what we what we are here to do. Um, and then there is still the quality issue, and and of course some is because um, uh, machines and, and materials are not that easy to handle. But a lot is also because uh, we're simply not using the data that's there, right? So all these machines they have digital interfaces. We could simply take all the data. We could uh, we we could monitor things in a much much better way uh, than we do now, and um, and 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 just by that quality will go up. So. So we said, okay, this is this is the main challenges in AM. So let's let's go ahead and solve that. Um, and therefore, we developed three products. Uh, our our first product is the is the uh, Agile PLM, the the product lifecycle management, uh, where we basically uh, automate the the innovation processes that 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 people have around additive. So finding the right parts, making sure that that actually uh, additive is the is the is the choice or is is the is the best uh, way of producing them, comparing that to others, um, having people collaborate, um, getting getting parts uh, re-engineered, um, uh, making sure it's standardized. So so bringing them through the workflows, what whatever they might be, uh, in order to have a, a, a real good use case. Um, then uh, we have the ERP. So whenever you have that part, right? It's it's built, it's it's verified, it's it's stored, it's um, it's it's qualified. Uh, then you need to automate the the ordering process. So we want to we you, you see a little glimpse of our software up there. Um, so you want to make sure that you place the part with uh, the best um, the best supplier. If you have in house, you might have multiple. Uh, um, uh, locations you might have um, uh, you might want to want to track how how, um, how how well every every printer is is, is working uh, if, if you don't have printers yourself you want to use external suppliers to to do that um, so so we build a system that that lets you connect every machine every vendor every every location um, and and place orders in the, in the easiest and smartest and best way possible and once the order is placed, then it needs to be built, right? So, so it needs to be scheduled. It needs to be, um, it needs to, the machines need to be loaded. The, the parts need to be uh, nested, and 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 uh, um, the, the 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 everything needs to be controlled, right? So, so the quality control is 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 a really really big thing here, uh, to make sure everything works according to specifications. Now, um, uh, what what was always important for us is that we cater to, cater to the highest standards out there, so that that we're really used by a lot of uh, different um, companies. So, so security was always a big thing. Um, also, uh, I mean, cloud cloud technology these days is amazing. It's 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 secure, but still, companies want to have things on premise, which uh, which will not go away for some time, we believe. So, so we cater to it. Um, and we're trusted by by various um, industries uh, just just along the fact that that we as a as a uh, as a German based company I mean we do have an American uh, daughter company these days but um, uh, that that we can sell into the into the uh, Department of Defense and, and so on in the United States shows 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 quite a lot of um, yeah uh, that 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 we 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 take a lot of we take we take security very very. Um, um, we regard it as a very, very important thing, um, and um, and and yeah, companies put their next product on our software, right? So so it needs to work. It needs to be robust. It needs to be um, uh, uh, working very well. Um, so 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 just 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 few few words about uh, the products, right? I, I I I gave a little bit of a glimpse the the the, the PLM system, um, which which we use to 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 organize ourselves. Um, in, in the heart of it is, is the digital inventory. The digital inventory can store files um, and, and projects and parts um, because sometimes a, um, a part is not just one file, right? It could be multiple. Um, uh, uh, and, and, and have people work on that. Um, so, so, so there are multiple ways to, to fill the digital inventory. 
Uh, and I guess that makes it very special for, for Additive then. So, so first of all, people, I mean, we, we're not a cat software, right? So, so, so we just store the files. So, so we want to integrate with the, with the software that, that, that engineers work with every day. So we, we have built integrations to pretty much all standard cat software out there. Um, then if you want to find use cases, um, we, we build a module that's called inventory analysis, um, which basically uh, scans inventories for additive use cases. Uh, what, what, I mean, you know, additive use cases, so, 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 so it needs to be a part that's, that's feasible. It needs to be the manufacturable with additive, but it also needs to be a good use case, right? It needs to be economically uh, sensible. So, so, so we can scan whole databases, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of parts, uh, run them through our, through our software and, and, and find the ones that are most suited for additive. Now, if you don't have a database, or or maybe it's it's um, uh, there's um, uh, just a lot of demand from, let's say, your customers or your employees or um, or, or 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 the the sourcing department, maybe um, to go case by case. Then then we have built a module that's called use case screening. So so we can uh, go ahead and with just a few clicks. Uh, uh, scan a case, scan a part, take a picture, put a couple of sliders, uh, upload a file, um, and and you and you get immediate feedback if this is is good for additive or or maybe not. Uh, and if it is, we can store it to the digital inventory so that the the the, the AM team can then work on this. Or we just simply save save existing orders, right? So whatever has been ordered before, I mean that that could go into an inventory. And, and make it available uh, to the rest of the company, make it available to uh, to your stakeholders. Um, um, so 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 that that's a no-brainer. Um, so so that's our PLM system. I hope I, I could give a little bit of um, idea about what 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 it does. Um, basically, it's around collaboration, around uh, use cases, store them in a in a in an inventory so that they're actionable. They can be ordered from there. They can be shared. Uh, and 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 bring them through workflows, so so we have them qualified and 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 ready to to go into production. Um, so 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 that also states our value proposition, right? We want validated use cases that are ready. Um, we we want to bring transparency to the organization, and of course we want to optimize the, the the processes in order to get there. Um, now our our ERP, the the, the um, enterprise resource planning, is is um, is basically the tool that is used for um, for ordering parts. It's used for um, making sure that parts go to the right production facility. That could be now if we start on the bottom of that picture, it could be internal or it could be external. Uh, um, uh, facilities, right? It could 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 be that you have a couple. So 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 we have customers that have multiple locations across the globe, and 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 we just want to route them to the right one that has the material available, that has capacity, that is the cheapest or the closest or whatever. Um, but some some companies don't have any. They they use external suppliers. So the sourcing departments they they hook up these externals. Or if they don't have uh, sourcing departments, then they could even. Uh, insert some of the companies we're already working with, right? That are pre-configured, -config and 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 we can uh, send things, or we can have a hybrid situation, right? Where you compare internal and external resources. All that's all that's possible. Now the whole uh, uh, starts, of course, the whole process starts with the CAT model and some some knowledge about the file, some okay, what material, what specifications, and so on. Um, and then, depending on the complexity of it, um, uh, most of the parts can be automatically priced. Uh, so we have complex uh, routines that that um, uh, nest the part that rotate it that that make sure it's it's in the optimal position support structure generation all that stuff uh, in order to 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 correct the the printing time estimation and give it the right price um, now if it's too complex if there's heavy machining involved and so on um, then then sometimes it's not possible to do that uh, even with with good uh, a formula, um, then, then still we have this manual pricing workflow that that usually um, is, is so. So you get a quote, you you order the quote, and, and so on. And the software is then suggesting prices, so so it's, it's still it's, it's a huge win. Um, and of course, uh, we we have guidance in 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 the materials. You can select specifications that then again have an influence on how it's produced, and and of course on the price, and, and so on. So all of this uh, is built into into our ERP system. 
so 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 uh, so 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 we did some analysis with with customers that that say that uh, before placing an order took took days because they needed to get quotes from various suppliers and so on having some back and forth now it's all in the software if there are questions it's all stored in the software it's handled in the tool and uh, and, and instead of uh, days it just takes sometimes seconds right if it's automatic price okay there you go um, and then to 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 finalize uh, um, uh, we have we have built the 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 agile MES the, the manufacturing execution system uh, which is uh, is there to 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 make sure you're building the right parts, you're you're having the right workflows across your um, manufacturing side, and uh, and you control the, the 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 data. So it all starts again with the order, right? That there's all the necessary documentation. So so what was ordered, what specifications? Here's the files and so on. Um, the, the the software can then uh, put put them together into print jobs, uh, uh, nest them, uh, um, schedule them. Knows how long they take. Uh, so we can we can schedule them, uh, um, but but of course there's always possibilities to 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 get in and change it around. Um, now uh, we have machine integrations to most uh, big uh, companies, um, so so machines can be automatically connected. Uh, all the data can be can be can be transferred. So no more walking around with USB sticks. No more saving. Uh, quality reports uh, on on network drives and and stuff like this. We could even go as far as as showing uh, monitor monitoring uh, errors right away, uh, so you could decide if if the machine should be actually uh, still continue to to print or if if, if, if it doesn't make any more sense. Um, now now of course machines don't have to be next to the person that operates them these days. They can be anywhere, so we can we can have it all distributed. Uh, and of course, quality is 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 very very important. You want to know where the parts are. You want to know who did what in the workflows, and and uh, and and basically track everything, so that in the end you have your parts completed and and according to the standards you set up uh, in the beginning. Uh, let let me say a word about machine connectivity because that that's always an uh, that's always an interesting um, topic. Um, essentially. Our MES has an interface that's built on OPC UA, and uh, the, the OPC UA standard uh, we decided for is the UMATI OPC UA standard. Um, now, that's a pretty, uh, pretty new uh, definition, but it's in our mind the best for additives. Um, now, not, of course, not all machines, uh, especially the old machines, don't 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 cater to this. So, so we build drivers, right? So, so whatever you know from your 2D printers, when you hook them to the computer, there are there's drivers provided uh, by the by the um, by the by the printer manufacturer. So, we we also build drivers for the for the additive machines. So, so we can connect anything. Um, also, if it's a REST API, if it's MT Connect, uh, if it's other OPC UI standards. So, so that's that's not a problem. Um, the the important part is the the, the machines can get uh, to the to the connected to the MES no matter where they are right even if they're in various locations. Um, we we have real time um, uh, uh, integration, real time data exchange, and and also when you, when it's on the cloud, and then of course you can get software updates right away. Um, and uh, and we make sure that that everything is according to quality and and uh, and everything is tracked automatically. Now um, the the big so so these are our products, right? Um, now 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 usually co companies don't just want one product; they want a solution. Um, so so we have um, uh, defined various solutions for stakeholders. The one I'm I'm gonna I wanna show because it's it's very close to also what the what the uh, uh, what what the, what what the, the 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 vision of of the Polyline project is about is is, is the distributed manufacturing um, setup, uh, and this shows very well how our products kind of uh, interact. Um, so, so of course, after after you have identified a part with a PLM system, uh, made sure that it's a, it's a positive use case, and you've qualified it, um, then you can store it in a digital inventory. Let's say that you have this inventory. There's your on-demand uh, products in there that you need for your production, or or spare parts that you need for maintenance or whatever. Uh, they can be stored in the digital inventory, and whenever needed, they can be then ordered. So, so the software then routes it to the best supplier. Could be uh, the one that's, let's say, in the country, or the one that 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 has the um, the, the the qualification uh, to to actually build that part. So the software takes care of this. 
Um, then it lands on their shop floor. It can be automatically integrated, right? So depending on, on when the part is needed, it can be then uh, get the right priority to be to be scheduled at the right time. And then of course um, we can track it because we have connected the printers and and we can uh, we can make sure that that everything is working according to 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 what we need. And um, and then it's it's uh, it's built uh, real time. Uh, demand and 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 we get the part wherever whenever we need it um so 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 this was kind of our our um our let's say setup and and we talked to them now let's let's jump into that uh, into that polyline project that's that's uh, that's the idea right that's what we want to talk about so so we we told them okay this is this is uh, uh, what our software is capable of and they said okay about polyline um uh, we have a similar vision right so so so, so the the, um, the 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 initiators they said, okay, we we want to have a lighthouse project in the industry, right? So we we want to show what's possible, um, and uh, and they put together 15 partners, a uh, couple of research institutes. Um, sorry. But also um, uh, uh, partners from from the industry. Um, uh, in in total, there's uh, there's uh, uh, thirteen million dollars in 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 this project, uh, uh, which is distributed ac across the, the the partners. Of course, uh, with our software, we have quite quite some expenses uh, in 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 this area. Um, uh, then the the uh, we 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 said okay, or they said uh, okay, we we should have additive manufacturing in the center because this is um uh the new way of 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 building things um so 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 we need to automate a additive factory and we need to automate the whole process right really from the beginning uh from 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 the file uh through the pre preparation uh printing the part post processing the part quality control it and and we're not talking pr prototypes here we're talking functional car parts right so i mean it's it's uh yeah it's bmw right that that is uh, having that uh, thing build up. Um, so that was the setup, and um, and what we then came up with is is so let let me let me take this um, this picture and um, and explain a little bit what what the what the line looks like. Um, now of course it's it's not going to be exactly like this, but but um, but yeah. So 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 let's start on left. There is um, there is a, a, a automatic powder supply. So 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 you have we have the laser sintering machine in the kind of in the heart of the of the line, but it should be autonomous, right? So so it needs to have automatic powder supply. Um, then when the when it's uh, when it's uh, there's actually even an, an oven. Um, uh, so 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 first uh, the the um, a robot you you see robots there. Now th they look a little bit different. Uh, it's it's not arms, but it's more like little um, cars that have s certain standardized uh, tr transport um, boxes, uh, smart smart boxes. Um, so 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 they bring it into the oven. The oven then heats it up. Then it goes into. Then it brings it to the to the sintering machine. Um, the, the 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 part is built. Uh, it's it's then brought to one machine that uh, cools it. So, so so the oven again cools it then down. Then then brings it to a machine that is uh, uh, unpacking it. Uh, then it goes into a rough cleaning machine. Then into a uh, uh, fi fine cleaning machine. Uh, and then it's being brought into into a finishing um, machine, so it's it it can be um, let's say uh, in de densified. I don't I don't know if that's the right word, but but make it make more dense uh, the, the the surface and um, and then even uh, colored. Um, and of course, uh, all all this needs needs heavy support from from software, right? So so we have our ERP in place because. Uh, we want to make sure that that things uh, uh, can be ordered, right? They can be put into the system. They um, uh, they, they should be tracked. Uh, we we need to monitor how much are we actually building up there, and and, and so on. Um, and then there's the MES that is controlling everything, right? So 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 preparing the data, um, making sure it's uh, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it in the next slide as well. Um, uh, yeah, it's 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 being made to to the right. It's being prepared for the right, uh, let's say, um, 
uh, case, uh, then um, then then the machines need to be told what to do, right? Then the uh, when the machine is ready uh, and there is no errors, then the 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 wagons need to bring the the part to the right place. Uh, the 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 little robots need to need to bring the parts to the right place. Wait for the machine to be ready. Make sure that everything is 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 then working according uh, uh, to the to the to the set. Um, Standard and and uh, there is some 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 quality control steps on the on the way. Um, so so even if if we have and that we're not we're not just building one part in the printer, right? We're building multiple parts per printout. So so they need to be identified. They need to be. So so it's it's a pretty complex uh, complex setup for 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 a software to to really track all of this, make sure they go the right way. They they don't all go the same way, right? Some some are dyed, some are not. So some are some are painted. Um, so, so, so it's, 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 a it's, it's pretty interesting. If, if you want to know a little bit more, then, then there, there's, there is a great article we, we published about it, but let's, uh, let me tell you a few words about the, the, the other project partners. You see on the bottom line, there is a lot of, uh, let's say universities uh, or Fraunhofer German Research Institute. Um, because this is this is very complex, right? So finding the right ways, uh, uh, calculating the what 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 needs to be done with the data, for example, how do we how do we process uh, the data that that comes from all these machines to make sure that everything is according to standards? There's there's a lot of research being uh, being done on these things. Um, uh, so 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 that's that's pretty pretty cool. Um, then uh, yeah, we we have as industry industry partners we have uh, US uh, providing the, the the oven and the and the and the printer. As I said, it's the the, the P500, which is an amazing machine for this. And it's all set up at at the premises of BMW, who have uh, Mini as a as a brand, as you know. Um, there is uh, the company that is uh, that is used for automation in terms of uh, logistics, right? So to bring things from from A to B. Um, there is Dimension, a great company from Munich um, that that is doing the uh, that's pro providing the machines for for um, um, <clears throat> cleaning the parts and and um, and making them uh, preparing them for the for the for the um, uh, for the coloring and then also having the the machine to to color them. Um, so 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 then there's additive marking because all the all the parts need to be identifiable. So all the parts need to have a different uh, serial number. So 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 additive marking is is, is really good at doing that. They they can uh, basically um, uh, yeah put put uh, even numbers inside parts in this case we're not so sure if if it goes to the inside or or the outside so, um anyway it it could be then readable with a with a scanner or um uh, yeah uh, with 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 some machines that then can scan these codes and um and 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 so so we always know where which part is there is uh, there is cumtech and there's 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 us uh, there's optus so so these are these are companies um, that um, that make sure that the the parts are being uh, sorted right. So if you have a big print job, uh, you need to find the right parts in there. Um, and uh, and then there is uh, uh, yeah, of course us uh, as, a, as as the software provider here to to make sure that uh, everything works according to standards and, uh, and 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 everything every machine knows what to do and and all the quality is controlled and 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 so on. So that's uh, that's the the what what I what I wanted to tell you about uh, about this project. Um, there's uh, there's more time uh, if you have questions, if you want to know about it a little bit more, um, or um, about about us, um, feel feel free to to ask these. Otherwise, that's what I brought for today. All right. Well, thank you, Stefan. That was great. Um, so I've got a qu couple of questions here to start with. Uh, so what was the time frame for the Polyline project? Okay, yeah. So so the the, the project um, it's set for three years. Uh, we're already working on it since one year. So 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 we expect to be ready in uh, in in a yeah in in two years. Um, now we've already made uh, quite quite some some successes that 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 of course. Uh, um, uh, uh also goes into into our other products for like like the connecting for example the machines and so on but but yeah we expect it to be fully ready in in around two years 
Okay. So um, so I saw that in this presentation, it was it was using powder bed. Would this work with other machines and other processes, 3D printing processes? Yeah, good, good question. Um, so maybe I, I have a little of a, uh, oh, okay. That shouldn't have happened here. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so for whatever reason, Google just signed me out. Anyway, um, uh, 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 let me let me answer this. Uh, so so um, we do have a um, uh, a general machine connectivity in place, right? So so um, we do we 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 build everything according to standards. Uh, we did define an interface that is. Um, uh, let's say standardized. Uh, I, 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 I explained a little bit. We, we call it Umati, but we have also built drivers. So essentially, it's, it should work with any other um, any other machine, any other technology. Now, of course, the whole setup must be different. This one is built for for powder, so it needs to be clean and so on. Um, if you have uh, FDM or or something that has support structure, you need to find a way to remove the support in an, in an automated way that that might make it a little bit tricky, but essentially it's agnostic to to the additive technologies that 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 we are needing. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so um, let's see one more question here. Will, will this solution be available to other companies that that might be interested? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So so um, so so of course the the idea about the project is to to set up a lighthouse project here. Um, but of course we want to make sure that this is um, uh, that this is also a commercial uh, success, right? So so the whole line, um, uh, the whole uh, technology that 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 all these companies are working on these days um, uh, will be available, right? All the machines that Dimension is, for example, making all the um, uh, the, the the P500 and and the, and the whole setup and of course our solutions um, uh, that that we're building it it, it will be commercial products uh, they 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 are already commercial products so so whoever is interested in such an automated setup is 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 very uh, uh, very well might um, uh, might buy it of course yeah all right great thank you all right so that's all the questions we have. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's going to wrap up today's TRX webinar series. I, I would like to once again thank our presenter, Stefan. If you have further questions for uh, for him, uh, you could reach out to him directly. Uh, what was that email again? Yeah, it's sk like Stefan Kuhr, sk at threeonline.com. Okay, great. Ah, it's here. Uh, there it's here. Will that's be a... the only thing we can still see on the picture here. <laughs> that's my email address. <laughs> <laughs> Google signed you out, but they left that there for us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So uh, <laughs> there will be a post webinar survey going out to all those who participated. We do really appreciate the time that you take to provide America Makes feedback so we may continue to improve and strengthen the additive community. And as a reminder, if you think that you or your organization would be interested in, in sharing on the TRX webinar series, please fill out the form that follows the presentation, or you can reach out to myself, Jason Thomas, at uh, jason.thomas at ncdmm.org. And uh, this presentation, as well as our other TRX webinars, are available on the America Makes uh, YouTube page. So, uh, Stefan, thanks again, and uh, everyone have a great day. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.